Hey everyone, so on this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, we're talking about this, Polymaker's Polyterra PLA, and why recycled cardboard spools are just the start of the advantages of this filament. As I mentioned in the beginning, the spools, and I forgot to mention the boxes as well, are made from recycled cardboard. Now, according to Polymaker, this is their first step in moving away from plastic spools towards more sustainable options such as cardboard for their spools, which I think is a really, really good idea. Now, I know cardboard spools have been kind of an idea that people, some of them love it, some of them hate it, some of brands have done better than others. And the biggest problem that I've had with cardboard spools in the past is they were generally made from uh, corrugated cardboard on the outside here, which is not the most suitable. It's not very durable. It's prone to getting bent and things like that. This is made from a very rigid cardboard, which works great in applications where you have the filaments riding on a rod in the middle or even riding on the outside such as the case with my artillery printers. Now, another game changer with this is the fact that besides using recycled cardboard for the packaging, Polymaker is also including a reusable bag that the filament comes in, which is a really, really nice touch as a lot of companies will vacuum seal their filament, send them out, and some of them have now started including a separate bag, but that obviously becomes a bit of a plastic waste issue, just packaging it in a resealable bag is a really, really nice touch. And I have to say these bags are quite durable. So they're not just a very cheap Ziploc bag. They're gonna definitely last a long time and you could probably find lots of other good uses for them when they're done with their useful life with the filament. So besides using the recycled paper product for their packaging and their spools, Polymaker has also pledged to plant one tree per roll of filament that's purchased. Now this is nice because if anybody understands, deforestation is a big issue and this is a step in the right direction for companies to be like, hey, we're gonna use some paper products, but we're also gonna give back in the process, which I think is really awesome. On top of this, there are multiple color options that are gonna be coming out. And I personally really love the fact that this has more of a satin matte finish to it, you could say versus just like a glossy PLA finish. I think it looks really nice. It looks a lot more professional. Photographs and films a lot easier, especially for time lapses. That's just something that I love about it as matte PLAs are becoming more of a thing. Also, they're trying to make this filament more biodegradable and in current testing, it is showing that it can actually break down faster than regular PLA as well as the fact that they're using 20% less virgin material to make this as they're using a filler in there to reduce the amount needed. This is also nice because it reduces the amount of resources needed. Lastly, they've tried to make this affordable at around $20 a spool. I'm saying around because obviously I'm not 100% sure what the pricing will be, but that was their market point with this, which for the amount of filament that you're getting is about what the market rate for PLA is. This is nice because some brands have offered plus and better filament, but the problem is they charge a lot more for it and it doesn't really live up to expectations. Now when it comes to the printing, I've already mentioned the fact that I love the fact that it has the more matte finish to it, but in terms of printability, this stuff is amazing. Prints very nice, very consistently. It's not very picky about temperature. It just, it works really well. Now obviously PLA in general is relatively simple to print with, but obviously some brands are known for printing higher, some lower, some have better layer adhesion, some don't, some are more brittle, some are more soft. This stuff definitely is a lot softer and it behaves a little bit more like ABS when it comes to working with it. It's obviously not ABS, but that's the closest approximation I can think of to how it behaves. Now, one of the most important things when doing a same material support print is support removal. And as anybody knows, if you get your settings wrong for that, you'll pretty much be stuck with something that you just cannot remove, which is really, really frustrating. 
and I hate to admit it, I've cut myself on PLA shards before and it sucks. So when it comes to support removal with this, this stuff is incredible and I've gotten some of the best sand material support finishes I've ever had with PLAs and quite honestly filaments in general using this, which absolutely blew me away. Because if any of you know, I do a lot of prototyping work. I'm gonna be covering that some more in the future with this. And being able to remove supports cleanly and easily from a difficult print is nice. Now obviously this is not a replacement for a dual material machine where you have a soluble support material for geometries you cannot access, but that's a totally different story. For general use, this stuff is incredible. So as you can see down below, I did a couple of 16 millimeter, which is large scale model train projects with it, just to show what can be done. And these are gonna be featured in some upcoming videos in more detail, but I figured I'd have something to show you there. So also, I'm gonna have details down in a pinned post in the comment section talking about a coupon code that Polymaker was nice enough to put together for the promotional of this product. Now, even though I received these spools free of charge from Polymaker, I definitely, definitely would purchase more of this in the future for projects when the need arises, strictly because of the fact that it prints so nicely, I love the matte finish of it, and the ease of support removal is just incredible. So I'll finish the video out with a little bit of promotional material that Polymaker sent me that I was allowed to use in this video. I'll see you guys here next time on Make It With Calvin where we're gonna dive into these 16 millimeter train projects and whatever else I can think up with until the filament runs out. So see you guys next time.